that catalytic converter was stolen from this van over the weekend, and the converter was stolen from this bus about two weeks ago. They also have another bus at the shop getting fixed. This is the fourth time that it's happened, and they've got a total of six vehicles. Now, with those vehicles out of service, some of their daily operations have been halted. Uh, we're an adult day program for uh, adults with developmental disabilities, and we use those buses to pick up and bring in our clients and take them back home. So when anything happens to uh, one of our vehicles, uh, we don't get to bring those clients in for the day. See, that, see right there where it's cut? Those vehicles kept in a fenced area, but that's not stopping the break-ins. It just amazes me what kind of a person would, would steal from an organization like this. Um, Clearly, they, they just don't care about other people. This portion of the fence was recently cut, and it looks like they used this as the access point, and even some of the pieces from the fence are still lying here on the ground. Right now, we're sitting at about $10,000 in, in total damages. Money that could have gone to other things. Could have gone to programming for the clients, could have gone towards uh, meals for the clients. The next step is looking at getting the fence surrounding the parking lot electrified. In Oklahoma City, Shelby Montgomery, KOCO 5 News.